right, it is my absolute pleasure down here at Lega Cadillac, and I just wanted to show you guys the first 2019 Colorado ZR2 in orange. This thing is absolutely incredible. I actually much prefer these black rims over the 2018 versions. Of course, the very, very famous DSSV Multimatic suspension, which is incredible and I will be bragging about in a moment. Oh, this truck just breaks my heart. It's actually really, really nice. Box space, assist, everything's good. Looks like it's been bedlinered already. Backup camera, tow hip, or tow uh, receiver. Spare tire mounted underneath. Beefy tires, but not overwhelmingly so. It's just a proper balance of on-road and off-road without getting more into like the Bison edition. But to be honest, I kind of prefer this. And it's in orange. Look at it. It is in orange. It is bright. It is in your face. It is unbelievable. All right, let's get this thing on the road. This truck is literally incredible. It, it honestly blows my mind every single time I get in one of these and I drive them. I've been in a lot of trucks, some with some crazy lifts and crazy mods and crazy amounts of money spent, and they howl. They ride really rough or they ride really floaty. Everybody knows you get a Jeep and you put some bigger tires on it and you go down the road and it just feels like you're swaying the entire time. So you get in a truck like this that is factory with all of these modifications and you kind of expect the exact same thing. You kind of are, are prepped yourself for absolute failure or disappointment, but the truck looks cool. And you know that in 10 or 15 years, the trucks that will be collectible or desired by collectors or people who are enthusiasts of the brand are always the ones with these trim packages. So you buy them and you deal with whatever idiosyncrasies they may come with. And yet this truck just does not seem to have too many of them. All right, let's get this vehicle onto a back road and see what it'll do. gets up and it motors it does what it needs to do um, for the mall crawlers they will be extremely happy to be honest I really wish I could take this truck into a proper off-road scenario and really just explore with it I think that would be a ton of fun all right let's talk negatives of this automobile so for $55,000, what do you get? You get an off-road package, tires, a lift kit, a body widen, you get new bumpers, you get this crazy aggressive grill, and you get the basic premium trim for the interior of the truck. V6, eight-speed automatic transmission, and 7,200 pound tow capacity. Same t technology and everything else that comes in every other truck, including navigation, and how does that stack up to other things on the market? Well, it doesn't. Because for you to get into premium levels like this with anything off-road packaged in a half ton, you're talking at least fifteen dollars to $20,000 more. So the negatives of this truck, other than the fact that you have to pay for it, are far and few between because you're getting so much truck for the money. It's incredible how tossable this truck is. I literally take corners the exact same way, speed, everything, and aggressive level I do in the Camaro. And obviously this is a far cry on a performance level than the Camaro, but that is just a testament to how good the suspension actually is in this truck. It really does everything you would think it would do, and some, 10 times better than anticipated. I just, I'm trying to come up with some very constructive criticism for GM on, on what they could improve on on this truck and it, it's very difficult because it, it, it just feels so good and I've driven the normal trucks and they really are boring and lame and floaty and they're like minivans like it, it really is a boring experience but this is actually a ton of fun and it, it the, the hood even though it's pretty fake and doesn't really do anything it gives you a pretty rewarding experience inside the vehicle 
This is the most important part of any pickup truck. The turn radius and the ability to back it into a semi-tight but realistic parking spot. My car is to the right, which means if I mess up, things are really going to be bad for me. Somebody else's car is to the left, which would be equivalently a bad day. But this truck, because it is the midsize, has a shorter wheelbase, even with these bigger tires, and she backs up just beautifully. Very, very impressed. Welcome to the interior of this very nice pickup truck. 12 kilometers on it, which is not very much. I must say the view looking out over this hood, quite exceptional. This camera's doing a really good job of picking up colors too, so that makes it uh, a whole lot better. The interior of this truck is nice. It's not over the top. It's not some Rolls Royce or anything crazy. Seats are nice, kind of what you'd expect. They are too nicely embroidered on the headrest. Uh, buttons, switches, all the normal gear, some off-road stuff that they claim is life-changing, but I highly doubt that. Wireless charge pad, stuff I've never used in my car, but they still continue to put it in for some reason. Uh, heated seats, does not have cooled seats, I do not believe, I could be wrong. It does have a trailer tow package, which is pretty good. And important if you are going to tow. These vehicles are ready to tow, at least 7,200 pounds this truck lists out for about 55,000 Canadian dollars which is pretty good for what you get leather and all the other goodies it's not much in a half ton to get up to that price range so <laughs> let's hit the road I just wanted to point out a few small things in this interior before I get out there's a spot here for a pair of sunglasses how absolutely spectacular is that because sometimes you get back in the vehicle and you just need them very great. Also, storage inside the center console is pretty great. Just a, a very well designed interior. One thing I find I do in cars now to assess their value is when I get in, toss your cell phone. Where does it land and how is that located in coordination to cords, where you want it, getting back out, everything. I don't want to read my phone while I'm driving because obviously that is very dangerous but I don't want it buried in the back seat somewhere where it can end up in the Camaro so well designed truck well laid out great user experience just smashed four kilometers on it and I enjoyed every single one of them I just had to show you guys how vibrant this orange is. I had to put it right beside my car because there's not too many cars that are brighter, louder, and more aggressive than my super slow. And I must say, this ZR2 is an incredible, incredible vehicle. Yes, my parking job was terrible. I'm okay with that though. Holy smokes. I'm absolutely loving it. And again, big shout out to Leggett Cadillac for uh, letting me do my review. Till next time, drive safe, take care, behave as always.